Hey guys, how's it going? I like to mow here. Just wanted to do a quick little video to show y'all what I've been up to um, today. So, um, I rented a uh, Toro Dingo TX1000 um, from a local rental place. And I've been ripping out bushes today. Um, I took a full trailer load um, to the dump this afternoon. And then I got some fill dirt, as you can see, um, to fill in the holes for the... Uh, from where the bushes were. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick little uh, review of my experience with the um, TX-1000. Because up until this point, I've only rented a uh, Vermeer S925 TX, I think it is. It's a 925. I've rented both the gas and diesel of that machine, um, which both perform equally as well. Um, but I just wanted to do a little review on this machine um, from what I've used it today. Um, I was doing a, some ripping with a toe strap connected to it. And then I was also using the bucket to rip out some smaller bushes. Um, both, uh, both, uh, both which worked well for what I was doing so I didn't have to do it like uh, with a shovel or something. Because some of the bushes were pretty, pretty well into the ground. Um, but as you can see, of course, this is the uh, diesel model. Um, the uh, parking brake is down there, which um, I forgot to put on once and drove off, and it was starting to roll back, as you can see, by the uh, sliding marks on the trailer there. Um, so I figured that one out, but... Um, Yes, yeah, so this doesn't obviously has the manual parking brake. Um, the Vermeer has an automatic parking brake, so as soon as you take it out of drive, it puts it in neutral when you shut it off. Um, which, coming from a machine like that, that's what I expected to be the case. I just forgot about having the park brake down there. Um, so this is the uh, operator controls here. Um, of course, key switch, throttle, hour meter, um, which has 118.4 hours on it. Um, this does have the Kubota D1305, I think it is. Um, we can take a look here. Sorry about the uh, camera there. Um, yeah, D1305 Kubota. Um, I don't know the specs off at the top of my head on this, but I'd guess around maybe, uh, 25 horse, maybe? 25 horsepower? Um, so, this lever here is for the, uh, Hydraulics, say if you're running a, um, a, uh, like a tiller or a trencher, um, you can actuate it with the, uh, foot pedal there. Um, and then you can set it in forward and reverse, as you can see here. There's a 12 volt plug, high, high, low hydraulics if that's an option. Um, and then of course this is your travel lever. Um, and then your, boom lever. Um, I will say between the two machines, the Vermeer and this machine, this is much nicer to have two individual connected joysticks to drive it versus one because you can kind of get a little jumpy running two, or I mean running one like on the Vermeer. Um, but this machine I will say it's a lot smoother to operate um, for what I was doing today. And this is, of course, the, uh, larger bucket, which, um, I was able, this, I think this is probably about a quarter yard bucket or so, because I moved half a yard of fill soil and just about two bucket loads. Um, so this one's, um, and then one other thing, this also has got the dual fuel tanks, um, which the caps are right in here. They have these uh, 
plates over them, I, I would presume, to protect the cap from stuff falling on them, which is kind of a smart idea. And then, of course, it's got the uh, fuel gauge right there. Overall, this is a uh, pretty nice machine, I will say. Um, it is the wide track, as you can tell. Um, as well as it is the vertical lift model. Um, so this is a uh, this is a pretty nice rental machine, um, and they actually were ordering another one in too. I guess to have multiples, but um, anyways, I just want to do a little video to show y'all um, what I've rented for today. I'll be taking it back tomorrow morning. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll be doing, I have a couple other video ideas I'll be showing you all here soon. Um, to show some, uh, equipment that I've got that's, uh, new. So, anyways, well, I'll see you all in the next video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. So I'll see you all later.